Okay, I'm Barbara Berry. I live in Washington, D.C. I'm head of the Scientific Research Department at the National Gallery of Art in Washington. I'm very interested in artists' use of color. I am intrigued by how they change and develop and innovate. I have a particular predilection for the colorists, the Venetian Cinquecento colorists and the Scottish colorists. I'm fascinated by the way that they use materials for their own purpose, either mimesis, drama, or um, either mimesis, drama, or provoking an emotion. I've discovered the Jurassic Scientific Delirium Madness through a Google search for art science foundations and was intrigued by the program and immediately thought of people I knew who might be interested and pass the information along. I never thought I would have the luxury of time to be able to be a resident here, but the program sent me an email that said, we've extended the deadline by one day. And I thought, this is a sign. So I applied for the program and was delighted, delighted to be able to have this opportunity. It's fulfilled and over exceeded my expectations for learning about the artistic process which as a scientist working in an art museum, I really wanted to f find out and discover more about. While I'm at the Jurassi Residence Program, Science Delirium Madness, I'm a bit of a lurker and peering over the shoulders of artists, and, uh, it, which includes all kinds of artists, uh, mixed media artists, writers of poetry and of literature, as well as my other science peers, scientist peers, to try to see how they incorporate new ideas, how they work to bring uh, their work to fruition and where the stumbling blocks are. Because it's when you reach those stumbling blocks that you have to be inventive. And that process of getting through the bottleneck, perhaps of an idea, perhaps of an object, is so different and yet so much the same for everybody through this process. So I, I have been privileged to be uh, an observer to that process. While I've been here, I've also been trying to think about how different communities of people look at, different, at the same problem differently. And so my art project uh, was to paint out the primary colors of two different color systems, the additive primaries and the subtractive primaries. And that's because the additive primaries are the primaries of the scientists, starting by, with Newton, and the subtractive primaries are the primaries of painters. And there's been lots of frac friction between these two communities, starting with Goethe complaining about Newton's work and suggesting that Newton's work was a special case of Goethe's own work. And I think the difficulty came because the experience of Goethe was both as a scientist and as a painter, but he was unable to reconcile these two experiential conclusions, the one from the light and one from paint. And being able to come together with different kinds of theories and hypotheses, and especially with our different experiences, and see how we can reconcile those, I think is one of the most, um, the most beneficial things for, for me at the Science Delirium Madness Week. When I was a child, my best friend's father asked me what paintings I liked, and I told him that I liked the Florentine primitives. He told me that they had been painted using minerals. And I thought that was fascinating. And I really, from that moment, decided I wanted to work in a museum or a gallery. But it's difficult to find a job in that situation. And furthermore, my father was quite keen that I follow a career path where I could support myself and he felt very strongly that science was the way of doing that and being an artist was not the way to do that.
So I did follow a career path of science, and, but along the way, I always told everyone of my interest in the arts. And this is a, this is a lesson of, that I think um, it's good for everyone. It's not to be shy about what you want, but to let people know because they can't give you what you want if you haven't asked for it. Um, actually, there's a marvelous book about that for children called Jacob Have I Loved, that's in parentheses. Um, and eventually I heard about an opportunity when the science department at the National Gallery of Art was being expanded. And I've been there since and very grateful for that environment which is so enriching and really working with art historians, with conservators and with other scientists to, to really look deeply into artists' intention, preserving it, and sharing it with a public audience. Perhaps I can show you the maquette of my work that I've been undertaking here at Jurassic. Um, on, on my cubes, I have one face that has the additive primaries R, G, B, and there's some white. And on the other face, I have the subtractive primaries cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. And what I've done on the larger version is I've added quotes from artists about color and their, um, their response to color and their notions about it. One of the interesting things is that I found that many artists talk most about black and white and their attempts to create color out of using only black and white, which goes way back to the earliest philosophical thoughts about color. So I hope that my work will inspire people to think about different ways of looking. The colors look very different depending on the lighting that's on them, but also the notion that one set of colors makes white, one set of colors makes black, and within that purity of the addition and subtraction is inspiration for art. So some, is inspiration for the artists that's something they seek. The Science Delirium Madness Residency has really changed the way I look at potential work. It's opened up a vista. It's changed the horizon. We've talked a lot here during our month all together about horizons. We've talked about point of view. I've really been impressed about how we've been able to place ourselves in each other's point of view and see something new. So what I will take from this experience is the opportunity to bring an awareness of a change of point of view to my own research. And that will certainly augment and improve the work going forward.